So today I was inspired by Ben yesterday during a coffee break to do this presentation uh, straight out of the BTN library is uh, an old book that I read, a sales style, salesy type book called The Delicate Art of Dancing with Porcupines. Now we're going to see how this is important to us at, at, as a BTN member in that uh, it's a way to better improve your interrelationship skills with the others. Uh, knowing your audience type of uh, read, and it uh, helps in every aspect of your life. So inviting visitors, it's going to help with that. The skills contained in this book will help you uh, close more deals with customers, interact with your clients, interact with your uh, your employees in a more effective manner and in a, a way that's more inspirational, closing more deals, uh, um, making bigger and larger sales, that type of thing. This book is a great read. It's available on Amazon. Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, write down the title. And the author is Bob Phillips, The Delicate Art of Dancing with Porcupines. And after this presentation, you might want to order it for yourself. It comes in 24 hours uh, through Amazon. So you can pass that around either way, it'd be great. <clears throat> So to start off with, it's there. It's all about understanding and knowing your audience. Who, who, what, who are you talking to at the moment? It could be on the phone, a phone sales call with a client. It could be uh, in person, anywhere you go, talking to strangers. Who is this person you're talking to? It's it's more effective, and you're more receptive to your audience if you're if you're not a go person driver personality style to someone who's more of a meek or mild-mannered person right it's you'll bowl them right over so it's it's about mirroring personality styles it's about if you're talking to someone who's a driver you can be more of a driver with their your interaction with them and that's all about the books about and it's so simple to understand because really in the entire world there's only four personality styles that's it Four. So if you can identify what you are and you can, with only four of them, you can quickly identify what primary personality style the other person is, your audience. And if there's only four, you're, you're, it's, easily to, it's easy to figure out. But we're not just one, we're a blend of many often, right? So how, what are they? So you have number one, picture a square on a page, four corners, right? On one corner, you have driver type A personality style. That's old school driver. The, the person just bowls right over you in, their, in your communication. On the opposite corner is your passive or <coughs> meek, mild-mannered personality style. So there's two. And then on the other opposite corners, you have your expressive personality style. The person that talks a million miles a minute. The, the, the one that's just go get them, but they're just dancing around all the time in their, in their personalities, in their, in their presentation of their, of their, of their communication. And opposite of that, what is it? It's an analytical personality. Someone who really has to understand the numbers first before they make a decision. They might take a week, two weeks, three weeks to make a decision, but when they do make that decision, they are signing it and they're, everything is, is in order and things go smoothly because they analyzed everything, every part of the, every word, made sure you're licensed, made sure that, that all your insurance is in order and they've read every word of your contract, right? So there's your four. Now, drivers tend more or less not to really get along with the opposite corners, right? Dr driver and 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 the opposite corner is your is your uh uh your your uh mild mannered person right they tend not to really get along well so if you come up on, on a mild mannered person tone it down a little bit with them you know back off you back off your your loud the volume of your voice or or back down a little bit on on how fast you talk perhaps um, and if you're dealing with an analytical, you've got to understand that that expressive personality is not going to jive with that person. They have to process those numbers first. And and if you if you're if you're an analytical and you're talking to an expressive, you might amp it up a little bit, you know, and start and start doing a little jig in the in the box, right? Something like that. So there's there's your styles. Are we all just one? No, we're not just one. We're a blend of the other corners beside you 
tend, we tend to be, if you're a driver, you could be a little analytical driver. You could be a little, a little expressive driver, but, but there is a, you're a mixture of all of them all the time. So take away those, uh, take away those um, uh, personality styles, understand your audience, uh, and, and tweak the way you approach people, and you'll close more deals, you'll invite more visitors, you'll, you'll uh, uh, get along better with your employees, and you'll do a much better job out there in the world with, uh, with just generally uh, getting, along, getting along with others. Because that's what it's all about is people like to do business with those they know, like, and trust. And that's your, that's your educational moment. Dancing with Portugal.